Hello everyone, my name is Ben at TV Parts Today and I would like to be your DIY TV repair guide. In today's video, we're gonna be going over in a little bit more detail the process of identifying part numbers in our LG TVs. And to get things started, we will be going over the various part numbers that can be applied to LG main boards. When trying to identify the main board part number in our LG unit, we will be looking for a small sticker that is stuck to the front side of the main board. Uh, and while there are a few different styles, a few different formats of main board part numbers, the most common that we see is a part number beginning with E, B, T, and then a string of numbers that follows. We can also see main board part numbers that begin with E, B, U, and also EBR. We should be careful of any numbers that begin with EAX as these are board numbers. Uh, we do not want to be ordering any parts purely based off of board number. There are some rare occasion with LG main boards where we will see an all-in-one board. Uh, this is going to be a board that has the main board, the power supply, and the TCON board all integrated into one board. Uh, these boards will have a small sticker on the front that should have the part number printed on it. There are some less common part numbers that we see for LG main boards, namely a 10 digit number that is sometimes separated by a dash. And there could also be a situation in the back of your television that we haven't covered here today. So if you do have any questions about how to ID your main board in your LG unit, please feel free to give us a call and ask any questions. We'll be more than happy to get you pointed in the right direction. Moving on to LG power supplies. When it comes to identifying the part number for our LG power supply, most commonly we see a part number beginning with EAY or EBR. And as you may have noticed, we do see the EBR prefix attached to both main boards and power supplies. And why this can cause some confusion, as long as we make sure that we're getting the string of numbers that follows it, we should be able to keep those things separate when searching for the part number in a database like TV Parts Today's website. It is also important to note that in a lot of situations with LG power supplies, we are not going to see the full part number printed on that sticker. We are going to see a partial part number embedded into a serial number, and then we're gonna have to add the EAY or the EBR to that partial part number to make up the full part number before searching in that database for those parts. There are some less common formats of part numbers applied to LG power supplies. Uh, the trickiest of which is going to be a part number that begins in COV. And the reason that these are so tricky is that LG has not actually put a partial part number or a part number or even an identifier onto the board to let us know what that actual power supply part number is. Uh, what I would suggest if you have one of these in your television is give us a call at TV Parts today and we'll be more than happy to help you figure out exactly which power supply is in your LG unit. There are some other styles of LG power supply part numbers that we can see. Um, we do see sometimes a power supply part number that begins with PLTV. And we also see other part numbers that begin with MP. Much like with main boards, LG power supplies will use a board number beginning in EAX. And once again, we should not be ordering any parts purely off of board number. Finally, we'll be covering LG TCON board part numbers. And when we're trying to identify the part number for our LG TCON, in a vast majority of cases, we see a part number beginning in 6871L. We do have to be careful when actually trying to find the part number on the part because sometimes LG will use a partial part number that is embedded into a serial number. So we will not see the 6871L. We will have to apply that to the partial part number before searching for our part. 
There are some situations with LG T-Con boards where we will see LG has applied a different part number to a T-Con board that effectively already has a part number. Uh, this most commonly happens when LG is using a T-Con board from another brand. So you will see maybe a 6871L number on the T-Con board, but LG has applied an EAT number to it or an EBT number to it. Uh, this does happen quite often when we see T-Cons from other brands in the back of our LG TV. So if you are having any issues at all identifying the part number for your LG T-Con board, please feel free to reach out to us and we can help you out however we can. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. Uh, feel free to reach out to TV Parts today with any questions that you have about LG, even any other brand of television that you have. If you're trying to identify parts in your TV and you're running into problems and you're struggling, please feel free to reach out to us. You can give us a call at 930-212-1975. Or you can send us an email to info at tvpartstoday.com. That's I-N-F-O at tvpartstoday.com. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment down below, and we will see you next time.